हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 11.8 चैप्टर 11 रोटोडायनेमिक मशीनरी फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड मिकॉन्की स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज द स्पीड ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ अ ब्लेड ग्रुप of a reaction turbine is 3000 revolution per minute the mean blade velocity is 100 meter per second the blade speed ratio is 0.56 and the exit angle of the blades is 20 degree if the mean specific volume of the steam is 0.65 cubic meter per kilogram and the mean height of the blades is 25 meter millimeter calculate the mass flow of steam through the turbine neglect the effect of blade thickness on the annulus uh, area and assume 50% reaction blading so first of all we will write the given data from the statement so we have given the speed that is n 3000 revolution per minute and blade velocity 100 meter per second blade speed ratio 0.56 blade velocity and absolute velocity at inlet this is called blade speed ratio and it is equal to 0.56 similarly the nozzle angle at inlet is 20 degree specific volume is 0.65 cubic meter per kilogram the value of mean height of the blade is 25 mm which is 0.025 meter and the degree of reaction is 50% means it is 1 by 2 we have to find the mass flow rate are the mass flow of steam through the turbine so only one thing is required in this problem to find this is the turbine blading annulus this is the radius and this is the area and this h is basically the mean height of the blade so coming to the solution of this problem first of all as we know that the blade speed ratio cb by cai is equal to 0.56 so we know the value of cb so from here we can calculate the value of cai that is the absolute velocity at inlet and it will be calculated like this cv by 0.56 so now putting the value of cv there is 100 divided by 0.56 so the value of cv the value of cai from this is equal to 178.57 meter per second so this is the value of absolute velocity at inlet cai is equal to 178.57 meter per second further flow velocity can be calculated so flow velocity expression is flow velocity is, is represented by cf and it is equal to c a i sin alpha i so alpha i is 20 degree and c a i is calculated here so putting the values 178.57 
into sin 20 degree simplifying this the value of flow velocity is equal to 61.1 meter per second so this is the value of flow velocity which is 61.1 meter per second now also we know that, that the mean dia of the blade relationship with blade velocity is equal to blade velocity is equal to pi d n so here cv is known the value of n is known the mean dia of the blade that is d is unknown so to find the value of mean dia that is d is equal to cb by pi n so putting the value cb is 100 this is pi and the value of n is 3000 so to convert it 3000 revolution per minute to revolution per second we will divide it by 60 so simplifying this the value of d which is the mean dia of the blade is equal to 0 0.637 meter so this is the mean dia of the blades further blade inverse area a is equal to this is the annulus area it is equal to 2 pi r into h where r is the radius of the annular and h is the mean blade height so here we can write that 2R is actually the dia because we know that dia is equal to 2 times of the radius so we can write this expression like this pi d h so the value of d is 0 0.637 and the value of h is 25 millimeter so the value of h from the given data is 0 0.025 so it will become 0 0.025 simplifying this the blade annulus area value is equal to 0 0.05 square meter further now to find the volume flow rate volume flow rate through the turbine blading it is equal to velocity of flow into annulus area so velocity of flow we have calculated it its value is 61.1 meter per second and the value of annulus area is 0 0.05 square meter so simplifying this we will get the volume flow rate and the value of volume flow rate is 3.0 5, 5 cubic meter per second now to find the mass flow rate is required in this problem so mass flow rate is nothing but it is equal to rho v dot where rho is the density and v dot is the volume flow rate 
So we know that density is the reciprocal of specific volume. So this expression can be written like this V dot by small v where small v is the specific volume of the steam. So V dot value is 3.055 divided by the value of specific volume is 0 0.65 cubic meter per kilogram and it is given in the problem. So the value of mass flow rate comes out 4.7 kilogram per second. So to convert it into kilogram per hour, so the value of mass flow rate is 4.7 into there are thirty six hundred seconds in an hour. One hour is equal to thirty six hundred seconds. So we will multiply thirty six hundred with this to convert it into kilogram per hour. So the value of mass flow rate comes out sixteen hundred sixteen thousand and nine hundred kilogram per hour. So this is the value of mass flow rate required in this problem. This is the solution of problem 11.8. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.